We're going to do Lost Foam ponies today, the Mustangs, and uh, so we have a flat sheet of foam that the patterns have been uh, machined out of on a Haas mill. And so we're going to do some cuts to remove the patterns themselves from the flat sheet of foam. So I'm going to cut in four places. One is along here, then along here, along here, and along here, and that'll enable us to separate sheet of foam from the patterns themselves. All right. And now I'm going to remove this little portion right here. Pop right out. And I'm going to take and join the two pairs of foam pony patterns together and push this all the way together until it's approximately flush right there and stops. And now I have now this is going to form the, the, the down screw and, and the gating system for our ponies. So we're going to fill up our flask, these, these galvanized steel pails will be our flask. We're going to fill them up with sand. I'm going to first put sand in the bottom, about six inches of sand in the bottom. I'm going to transfer some here, about there. Place the foam pattern in the bottom of the flask so that it's not touching the walls. It's fairly straight up. And then I'm going to carefully fill in uh, sand around it. You can get a partner to hold this if you like. And I'm going to go straight down on the thick, strong, stiff direction of the foam when I'm filling the foam around it. And make a little adjustment. You can get a friend partner to help pull back, I'm making a video today. So I'm doing it myself. And I'll just try and be careful here. But I'm pouring the sand down on the stiff direction of the foam. Very important because if you come at it from the side, you might deflect it and break it. I'm gonna go ahead and fill this up now until it's a little bit over the top of the foam pattern because I'm going to turn on the vibration now and I'm going to couple the tail, the flask with the vibrating table here and hit the foot switch. Five. About five seconds. And now I've got sand vibrated around the main parts of the pattern. And now we're going to take and form a screw. I'm going to add a little bit of sand. I'm going to bring some sand over to the pouring area. The vibration part is done. So now I'm going to finish filling it up because the sand needs to come over the top of the foam, but I'm not going to completely bury the foam. And I've got a little brush here. The brush is going to enable me to clear the foam so that we can see and the phone. Now these rings are likely to be hot, so I'm going to be wearing gloves and ring them. So I'm going to place the rings around, and I'm going to go two sets of rings high. Now, I pushed sand on the foam, and I want the foam to be revealed to the metal as it flows down through there and vaporizes. So I'm going to go back a step and clear the sand away from the surface of the foam so that I can see the white foam surface quite well. It doesn't have to be perfect, but we need to have it pretty good. Just take a ring that is clean. I'm going to pack that on there like that. Now remember, I've already vibrated the sand for the most part around the pattern down below. And now I'm just forming the rings to make the sprue, which will also serve as the riser. Now I'm going to take my extra sand and I need to pour sand in around the rings to fill up the height of the sand well above the, the depth of the pattern down below. And I look down inside and I can still see the foam fairly well. If you need to remove a little bit of the sand from the surface of the foam so that the metal sees that foam when we pour it into the screw, then you can do that with a little brush here. But we look like we're pretty good to go and ready to suit up and get ready to pour. Okay, we are ready to pour. 
Uh, I'm going to turn on this uh, air filtration system. That will help draw away the smoke from the stove and it may dry. So I've got that approximately located over the spot. Everything's set and ready to go. That will hot and go. Okay, now it's all cool, and I'm going to go ahead and separate my rings. They're going to be really, really hot. So I've got gloves on, and I could have taken my gear off, but I took my helmet off, sanitized my my shield, and uh, so now. I'm in this uh, cart, and I pour everything out there. water double check it that it's cool yep with gloves on I can remove the castings from the sprue and the rest of the gaming system by simply tightening the vice down on Pony. And you could do this a number of ways, but the point is that I can break it off just like that. And so these kiss gates here will allow you to break off the rest of them. And then we'll take the foam, and there's a little bit of a sharp edge where we broke off uh, the, the pony from the gate. And we'll do some light sanding on the sanders, but just light sanding. And uh, as you can see, you can see the evidence of the foam pattern, the actual uh, original foam cells in the foam pattern, and, um, and for uh, this project we will celebrate the foam.